Merry Christmas. In 10 minutes. Snow was falling. So, um, I would have been here a little earlier, but this randomizer has a holiday edition and it's very limited in its options. And, um, man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'll tell, I'll tell you what I mean. Anyway, um, yeah, today, uh, is, is a day of reflection on Santa and Link, and they they rescue all the eight reindeer, including the inflatable reindeer Prancer, or whichever one it was. Hopefully there will be no lewd reindeers like in the game the other night. We don't want any of that. Well, it's technically just reindeer. It's not reindeers. He's hungry for a reindeer burger. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the stream. This is gonna be, I think this is gonna be wacky. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I wasn't expecting I'm playing so much Zelda at the end of the year. It just kind of happened. Between, uh, Link... Um, Adventure of Link. Randomized. Ocarina of Time randomized, and now this. But, you know, in a lot of ways, it's kind of cool. In a lot of ways, it's, it's like I associate... Um, Christmas was Christmas, Crustmas, with Zelda. So I have, um, Santa Link. I hear Santa on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle is supposed to be an elf, I think, but he just kind of looks like a goblin. Oh. I don't know if I'm supposed to get the sword that early. I have a guaranteed uncle So, Oh my god. Link, how are you this powerful? I can't use the sword. Um, oh, there's coal in some of the dungeons. I see. I see. Well, this is like a full run. Um, if it were up to me, I would have done something a little bit less... ...crazy. You know, I would have gone like, um... ...you know, 20 pieces of the, the Triforce out of 30. But, um... ...no lonks allowed. But, I mean, look how awesome this is. It's so Christmassy and perfect, and snowy. Wait, what? Vine block. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What did I do? Oh, right. What the fuck? Yo, that is- that is straight up eggnog affecting my brain. I didn't even have an eggnog. I should know these things. Did- Did I just get the master sword? Okay, we need to talk about this for a second. Bombs? That's a pretty good start. Okay, hang on a minute now. Hang, hang on a second. I have, um, Guaranteed Uncle Sword. Which is to say that he gives you a sword. So when I saw a sword in that chest, I thought that was like, oh, that's the sword. No, that was a random fucking item. I wasn't supposed to get that sword there. Well, I mean, I was, you know, it's a random thing. But, uh, I thought that was a guarantee. It turns out, not so much. I mean, hey, that's a bit of a Christmas miracle, getting the Master Sword this early. 
Oh no. Do I have to hear Christmas music this whole time? Anyway, I mean, happy Christmas, everybody. Um, anyway. <laughs> the point is... Oh, look at this. I can, I can just go in there. No, I can't. There's probably other things that need to be accomplished first. Anyway. Usually you can choose options that allow you to, um, you know, do more than just defeat Ganon. However, this is a defeat Ganon thing. But, it will cut out three dungeons, so that's helpful. Um... I consider just doing this for a couple minutes, and then doing an actual, like, you know, different, uh, regular, legit, randomized run, but I kind of gave up on that idea pretty quickly. Um... I'm worried that I'm gonna have to get items across the land that I'm not gonna know how to get. So, fuck it, let's just see how it goes. I mean, it's Link to the Past, you can't go wrong with Link to the Past, no matter how you play it. Vinny, we can guide you. No worries, Vinyat, the Master Backseater is here. Legend Cask, you are a fucking miracle worker. Legend has been here backseating every randomized run of Zelda I've done. And it's been great. So I have you open in your own tab, Legend. Also, I haven't seen you in a while. Do you only show up for the randomizer runs? I'm gonna guilt trip you on Christmas. That's how I'm rolling. see. I have a couple options checked, like fast map. Um, I have the, the heart beeping noise down a bit. Also, oh, there's a website that allows you to check the items that you have already. So, uh, can I get a link to that? Like, um, it's like a kind of, um, a map and an item checklist. It's a link to the site. Vinny, part of it is that you've been doing a lot of Smash Bros, which I tend to actively avoid. Hey, remember when I couldn't get the fire rod? It's also a pretty good early find. Um, no, fair enough. I think some people do tend to avoid watching me play anything that's, like, more, uh, fighting-oriented. And that's fine. I mean, some people like the story games, some people like the adventure games, everybody has different tastes, and if it's one thing I've learned on Christmas is that the definition of cri and I hate that I'm saying this, but here's the true lesson of Christmas is that even though all of us have different tastes, we're united in trash. Together. All of us. Also, I'll be playing Smash after this. This is gonna be a two-parter. Maybe a three-parter, who knows? Let's see how tomorrow goes. I have a bit of a, uh, complaint story that I hate to do because it upsets me so greatly. I got a Christmas gift that is not working for me, but it was expensive. It's a first world problem Christmas gift, and it's, it's really bumming me out hard because I appreciate the gesture so much. 
And I want to be as, as nice as possible talking about this because it's such a nice gift. Well, my dad got me a new office chair. I needed one because my old one was starting to crust. It was like getting like, um, the, you know, the sides of it and everything and... Problem is, uh, it was just, it was, it's an old chair, but here's the problem. This one is really nice and expensive, and I'm so appreciative of this gift. It's like, holy fuck, thank you. However, I can't lean back very far, meaning I'm pretty uncomfortable. And two, the uh, chair is so far off the ground that my arm hurts when I use the mouse, because my mouse is down pretty low. It's- it actually- if I use the mouse for five minutes, my arm starts to get tired and hurt. It's like not- I'm unable to rest my arm on it and use the mouse at the same time. And this is bumming me out extensively, because the chair is really, really, really nice. And- but I stream, you know, I'm- I'm like in this chair, I'm gonna be in this chair four hours a night, plus several hours when I'm not streaming. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Vinny, I had to return a chair like that once. Me too. In the past, I had to return a chair. I can't lower the chair any further. Higher desk? I don't have the room for a higher desk. This is the perfect desk for the amount of space I have. <sighs> what a fucking bummer. It's comfortable in some- like, it's really nicely padded. But I can't lean back on it, and it's just too high off the ground, and, and I'm really... Ugh. It's a lot of subs. Merry Christmas to you. Wow! I mean, hey, whatever... Like, I'm in the chair now, and I'm- I'm kind of dying a little bit. Um, but whatever complaints I have about this chair... At least, the run is going well. Vinny, maybe you'll break it in. Maybe. I don't know. And as shitty as my old chair was after uh, the amount of time I had it, it was like perfectly suited to the space I have and perfectly... Anyway, I'm complaining a lot on Christmas and I feel really bad about it. But... My back hurts. <laughs> so... It's like a constant reminder. There's a flood of subs. Listen, I want to thank you for the Christmas subs. That's very, very, very nice of you all. We may unlock an emote, but please do not feel... ...obligated to do so. Like, I, I feel, like, kind of uncomfortable when people spend that much money on me, so please stop. I accept graciously, but, but you don't really... What the fuck? I got the third sword already! I really wish this music wasn't so fucking awful and repetitive. And we could get some Zelda music instead. Because this run is fantastic. And I- but I don't want to stop doing it. Vinny, now you know what retail feels like. Oh, I- I worked retail. 
I did retail. I did, um... The service industry a little bit. I did enough in in that de in that field that I remember hating Bruce Springsteen forevermore as a result of that fucking Christmas song that they would play all the goddamn time. Fuck the Herald Angels sing. Got a weird fucking mushroom. Legend, I close. Oh, here's your chat. Vinny, just to clarify, do I have to at you? No, you're you're in the window. You got your own window, so you're good to go. Um, what I need to do, however, is get that link to the past thing. Um, you don't have to at me. I want to get the um. You guys are extremely generous this year, you know that, right? I'll be right with you. Okay, um, LTTP checklist randomizer. Um, random list picker? No. LTTP I had this fucking thing. Oh, I think it's um Be right with you. Hang on. I think it's a thing that I have to, I've downloaded. A while back. LTT. Yeah, here it is. It's a tracker. Okay. Um, this is a little shitty looking. So I'm going to try to keep it up. And you're gonna have to deal with this music. You have my deepest apologies for Christmas music. Also got um, mushroom, and I got um, a bottle. Got one bottle, and bombs aren't on here. So, all right. So that's helpful. I have a million things open right now. Santa tracker for the bottom left. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Just just give me a second. The Google Santa tracker? No, I don't like that. NORAD Santa Tracker? Okay, the amount of stuff that I'm going to have open soon enough. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's 
too many goddamn windows. But this is a great idea. Well, I say it's a great idea, but... You know... It's, it's okay. Trying to get everything all squashed and perfect. This is gonna take a minute. for the screen, but... You know, it's in the spirit of the holidays. Keep adding more? I guess I need the Vine Sauce logo. Wouldn't want people to forget that they're here. Forever. Like, I just did that Santa Tracker thing, and because of this chair, my arm hurts. Like, I'm actually physically tired from that, and I'm just, my back is hurt. <laughs> hmm. Meet Cam? Yeah, that would be the logical next step. Change to the old chair. Old chair has already been donated to Santa Claus. Now, the old chair is, is currently not within reach, let's just say that. If you see your location on the Santa Tracker, you're legally obligated to eat a cookie. Backwards. Lumberjack is probably not my best location right this second. Um, where's the dude's messages? There you go. Um, Kakariko. Yeah, well, well, we're near Kakariko, and also there's like a bunch of treasure chests. Go through the lost woods to town. Okay. What is your favorite Christmas movie? That's a good question. I like Scrooge with Bill Murray. I relate to that movie a lot. The original Home Alone. What's oh, this fucking song? Oh god, no. Some of you may have heard my story about this from the other day. Oh god, stop. <laughs> Bomb yitz. I remember this. Isn't there another item here, or is it just that one? Gavin! Gav! I wish there was an option for the music. 
That would have made life so much easier. Oh, more bomb. Wow, I'm really getting over-fucking-loaded with bombos. I will try not to complain. I've complained about multiple things by now. Chair? Complained about... The music? Complained about how long this could be? My New Year's resolution is to complain... More. Oh god, no. Have I complained about ten arrows? No. Let's see if I get ten arrows. Okay. Got a fucking medallion this early. Whoa, son! Ten arrows? No, it's fine. After all the cool stuff I'm getting, are you kidding me? Got the glove already? Do you remember the last run I did of Link to the Past randomized? Maybe some of you do. Bit of a nightmare, trying to get all the items I needed. Getting a power glove this early is... is it bodes well. What does this count for? This is the Kakariko well. Um, okay. Yeah, that's what that is. I'm gonna pay you and you're gonna give me a cool item. Fuck you. Gonna lower the volume just a little bit. What was the other Christmas movie I liked? There's another one. So, yeah, Home Alone. I liked Home Alone too. It was fine. It's not as good as the first one, but. Um, Die Hard? Fuck yeah. Goddamn right. Uh, this is absolutely insane. I have the best sword in the game. That... Okay. Jingle All The Way, that's the one. I love Jingle All The Way. It is so cheesy. And it is so fucking funny. Jamie, please! Eyes Wide Shut is a very good Christmas movie. I highly recommend that as well. I, I put that cookie down! Uh, Red Letter Media just did a commentary track to Jingle All The Way. I'm probably gonna watch it tomorrow. They've been very generous this past, um... This past month. It's been, like, the best month for RLM ever. You got Kulk, you had, um, Aquamang, you got a commentary. You got some good, um, best of the worst Christmas or cats. Life, love, happiness. The question you should really ask is, was this generated by Stoops, Alu, or Stoops, Jet? Ah, in-jokes. We have plenty of our own in-jokes. Vinny, have you listened to William Shatner's new Christmas album? No, but you gave me an idea for the BRB. So thanks for that. Shatner Claus, it's called.
I want to, um, I want to hear a song written by William Shatner about how he shit posts on Twitter. All day. That's what he does. All day. And I don't always disagree with the guy. Sometimes I do. I just think that he's really bored. For someone as busy as he is, he seems to be pretty bored. And he just likes shit posting. I don't- I don't really... I mean, good luck, dude. You know, whatever makes you happy, I guess. He's shat posting. No, but then there's the other aspect of it, which is he just, like, posts stuff that isn't too shit posty, and he waits for the Twitter trolls to come out, and you know, there's like a lot of people that will just... It doesn't matter what you post, someone's gonna be... in some way, shape, or form, shitty to you on Twitter. Or they're gonna be, like, kinda... Mm, not so great about something. They're gonna find something that you said that they don't like, and they're just gonna strike. And he- he does that. He waits for it. And it happens. And then he just goes for the fucking kill. Is he really that busy, though? Yeah, he's kind of busy. He said his trick to staying alive is just to keep busy and, you know, stay busy all the time. What a dingus. You can have this trash. Oh, I missed Blind's house, yeah. Someone just said it's not even Shatner running the account. I mean, go take a look at it and tell me you don't think that's Shatner. But... I like the idea that he's not. I like the idea that he's just letting someone use his account. Um, might be a good idea to just check the library anyway, to see what's down there. Boy! Ten arrows. It's wrapped, you can't see it. Oh right, it's a Christmas present. Finn, what's your favorite type of cookie? I like... chocolate chip. I know, it's pretty plain. I do like many type of cookie. But I'm gonna have to go and say, like, double chunk. Oots. I always manage to fuck this up. Yeah, double chungus. So the mirrors are really, um... ...really fucking good to get this early. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at those items! Oh, I did a quick item select as well. So look what I can do. This already makes the game 10% better. This randomizer is god. Where's Santa? Guatemala? What's the worst Christmas gift you've ever gotten? 
So, this one year I got a chair. No, let me answer that question... ...seriously. But I have to lower this game's volume yet again. A game with an amazing soundtrack, and I'm... <sighs> so... I got, um... I got a watch one year. And it was an expensive watch, and I felt bad about it, because I never really wore watches. But it was like... I was in high school, and it was like one of those, like, G-Shock watches! That had, like, a light on it, and, like, a really cool display. And it was all, like, fancy. But the problem is... So, I didn't really want to wear it, because I thought, like, it was kind of... just... Mm. It was weird. But I wore it, and then it got scratched the first day I wore it to school. Oh, I need powder for this. Hey, Hootie. Merry Christmas. It was- it was a tacky's a good word for it, but I did... ...wear it, and I made the decision, you know what? I like this gift. Even though it is, like, weird and bulky and- and, like, kind of... ...tacky. I'm gonna wear it. And then, yeah, and then it just got scratched somehow. Like, really bad, too. It was- it was not a... It was not a good scratch. It's not a recoverable scratch. Anyway, Hootie. Welcome to the stream, Merry Christmas to you and your family, and I want to say... ...that this run, so far, has been going... I mean, take a look, I just started. Half hour ago, I just started, I have all these items. It's crazy. The butter sword? Um, uh, me going- oh yeah, the library. Hang on a minute, I forgot I had the Pegasus boots. Worst Christmas experience. I don't know. I have to think about that. I mean, I can tell you some games that I remember being really excited for on Christmas, which was, um... ...stuff like... ...Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. I had an N64. I had played Pilot Wings to death, I'd played Mario 64 to death. And the best thing... ...for me at the time was, I really, really wanted... ...that game. It just seemed like it was gonna be awesome. You know, it was the N64, bro, so of course it was gonna be awesome. It wasn't that good. I liked it well enough, because I was a big enough Star Wars fan to enjoy it. But... <laughs> For its time, it was pretty- it was pretty good. It was pretty entertaining. Um, that was a good gift. I really fucking enjoyed that, because I remember my cousin coming over and we played it together and... Um, took turns, and it was- that was cool. Um... Then... Donkey Kong Country 2... Which was 1995, uh, 4. That was good. I mean, I knew it was gonna be good, but I didn't realize it was gonna be better than the first one. But then you get like, oh, 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 1995 was DKC2, sorry. But then like, there were Christmases I distinctly remember getting clothing, and not video games. And I told Santa specifically that I wanted video games. Now, when I get clothing, I'm like, thank you. Like, I got, I got a pair of pajama pants this year, and I was so happy about that. I was like, this is a useful gift. I also got a bottle of champagne, again, from my father. My father went all out this year, which is nice, but I don't really drink, so, I mean, a little bit, but, you know, I'll bring it to a party, I guess. That's kind of cool. It's called Strep Throat Champagne.
Okay, red roop. The bow, good. Heart piece, pretty alright, I guess. Ooh, the extra glove! This is an exciting run. Vinny, did you turn this on easy? No, it's not. And I don't think there is a way to make it so that you get more items earlier. But hey, listen. A lot of my runs have gone very poorly when it comes to item placement. Both for this game and Zelda God Zelda 2 this year was terrible. That run was such a fucking nightmare. Most of it was me just waving my Hwangus in the wind and just trying to find the next place to go, and I couldn't even do that most of the time. At least Ocarina of Time went kind of okay. There were some difficult moments, but it, you know, it was smooth enough. A lot of blue rupees, though. So much so that we, we got an emote out of it. We got the dead end and everything. Vinny, it did not go smoothly. I mean, it was not that smooth, but it was, it was like, uh... Yeah, it was pretty... Okay, it was a little rough. I guess compared to the Zelda 2 run, nothing will ever be quite so bad. Smooth. Vinny, did you see Aquaman? There is a crab rave in it. I have not too much interest in that movie, but I do know this. Jason Momoa has a good... He plays a good character in his film... Uh, films. He plays a good character sometimes. That one guy he plays. It's cool. Um, and, and I remember there was like a clip of him in the Justice League movie going, Yay! I like that. That was fun. But no, I don't think I'll be seeing the fish movie. This is cool. Water is frozen. <laughs> Fuck it. Someone just wrote Wet Thor. <laughs> I haven't heard that yet. I don't know if that's your own or if it's the internet's, but I love it. Wet Thor. Spider-Verse I haven't seen, but I am very interested in that movie. Uh, I'm not a Spider-Man guy, generally, but I really enjoyed Homecoming and... Uh... Yeah, I think... Um, I think... That's something I, I also really like the animation style so much. I was blown away by some of the stuff I saw on Twitter of, like, how they animated it to look the specific way that they were going for. I just, I couldn't fucking believe it. That's a movie, though, I'll probably end up waiting for, you know, to, uh, arrive digitally. Primbus Moose. to the hobo. Oh yeah, that's right, the hobo. I mean, sometimes it just gets snowy in Hyrule, what can you do? Another bottle. That's legit. That's his actual item, right? Hmm. 
<laughs> you know what? That's fine by me. Brad's getting fired for this one, for sure. Job's gone. Yule's gone. Okay, um, I think I know where to check next, but I want to double, double check. It says here... Uh, turn the mushroom in and the floodgate south of Link's house. Right, okay. Bring out the Algo music. I'm sure the music will come back, but if it doesn't, we can just go through some of the soundtrack for Link to the Past. This is just a small reward for us suffering the Christmas music. Santa's coming up to the East Coast. I haven't really been paying attention to the tracker. And it's so small, I don't know how anyone actually can see what's going on, but God bless you. There's the moon pearl. good here, right? After that. So I have the Dark World completely available now. Um, I'm gonna turn in the potion. I'm gonna buy the Zora stuff. I think I can do that now. I have the uh, appropriate amount of rupees. Thieves Town. I do have the ability to go to Thieves Town. That's a good, uh, that's a good place to explore. Thieves Town has a lot of fucking items. Now, I caught myself just then, and I realized I said a lot of fucking items when just a lot of items would have done just fine. My mouth needs to be wiped out with soap. Which is interesting, because I saw today someone had a relative... This is the thing that was going around online. Someone had a relative that made, uh, chocolate lobsters. Like, little chocolate lobsters over the years. And this year it was soap, and they bit into it and found out it was soap the hard way. Like, goddammit, Nan, you gotta tell us when you're making soap! think if I have any cookies, so I can follow my own rule. I want to eat a cookie. I- I think, um... I think I'm officially out of food. Eat a bean? Fine. When- 
I have some food. No, I ate. I ate plenty. And it's another red rupee. I'll... I will eat a bean. <laughs> Vinny, can you rotate the tracker? So we can see the names? Um... No, this tracker is going to do what the fuck it wants to do. Columbia? So wait, what happens when someone's presents don't get delivered while Santa's over their house and they're watching this with their children? St. Louis. Does it mean that they've been naughty? Diminishing returns. Starting to happen. Got so many damn good items early on that we're gonna end up getting... You know, some of the chunky items. Well, chunky's good, I'd say. Crusty. Let's say you let's use crusty. It's a metaphor for Christmas over the years. Holy shit, you're right. You get all the good gifts when you're young. And Christmas is magical and you get like games and a Nintendo Switch and a PlayStation 7. You get all these great things and then as you get older you just start getting bombs and 10 arrows and 5 rupees. Okay, so 500 rupees for this. Let's see what it is. It's a it's a heart piece. Listen, you got to do it. You can't not do it. Yeah, Zora's Domain was a little bit trash. Still no shield, you'll notice. Are you going anywhere for Christmas, Vinny? No, not really. Just some family stuff. I had, uh, oh, oh, here's a gift. I got two gifts that I really like. My cousins came over. Two of my cousins who are, you know, I have a big family, but these are good cousins. <laughs> and I got, so my cousin is, was stationed in Japan, I think, or he went to Japan for fun. I don't know. He'll tell me if he watches this. Uh, not the club cousin. I have a lot of cousins, but this cousin was in Japan and he got me Ocarina of Time. In the box. And the Japanese version of Mario 64. In the box. Not even that expensive. 950 yen each. But still pretty great. That is a good deal and a good gift. He didn't spend too much money on me, which I like, because I get weird about people spending too much. And it's something that I genuinely really enjoy. Okay, so... Desert knows a guy. Um... Let's see. 
Eastern is coal. So, Eastern... Yeah, we don't have to do Eastern. Well, I mean, we might have to for items. I'm thinking the Dark World might now be a good option. Desert has secrets, I know. Well, here's the thing about Desert and his secrets. Alright then, keep your secrets. Someone, uh, someone who doesn't like fun said it's gonna get real old. Come on, it's me. Have I ever been known to wear out a joke? It's Christmas. Let's have a little fun. I don't wear out any jokes. Ow! I'd never. Fool of a chook. Where is Santa? Where the fuck is Santa? Um, Santa is currently... Um... Um... Uh, Knoxville. Knoxville. Tennessee, yeah. Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. Click and drag. Oh, that's how you do that? I mean, Santa's just gonna do whatever the fuck he wants anyway. <laughs> Peanut music. Yeah, VOD's gone and someone's gonna die from a peanut allergy. bad joke. Is that it? It's just one of those things? So if you get the heart piece, then I think you're good. Right? The game still rigged to always give you the item on the first try. Well, that's nice. Again, I'm just surprised. Someone said, uh, for anyone that keeps joining, there are people that join randomly throughout the stream, and again, I would like to uh, wish you a Merry Christmas. I hope, uh, I hope you had a good holiday. But... There are people saying the music ruins it for them, and you know what? Yeah, I kind of agree. And, uh, the problem is that there's no option. If there was an option to revert to the Link to the Past music for the whole thing, I would have done that. But there was an option just to turn the music off entirely. <laughs> Which is not acceptable. Fuck it. 
That's the first time I've ever bought a shield in this game. I think. Oh wait, no, no, it's probably been stolen by a like-like at some point. I don't believe the ice rod is needed for any kind of progression. It might- well, yeah, it is, actually. It is. Turtle. Turtle place. So here is the official coal to reindeer ratio. Both eastern palaces don't have to be done. But... You know... Gary. Gary, Indiana. Chicago. North Chicago. Soon it's going to be going over there to, at Milwaukee. And, uh, famous Ellen DeGeneres TV personality Rich Evans will be getting his presents. Multiple lumps of coal. Vinny, what's your favorite 2018 meme? Again, I had a good answer prepared for this, and it was like this really obscure nonsense meme that I think we did on stream like twice, one time. It didn't catch on. It was stupid. And I was going to use it. Steamed hams? No, that's a year ago now. I mean, it still counts, I guess, as 2019, because it was being used. It wasn't Ernest. It wasn't Neg. That got used a bit. It wasn't Doodle Dip. That's still happening for some reason. Um... Uh, 2018, I meant, not 2019, yeah. But, there was, uh, I, you know, listen. I, I'm an, I'm an old-fashioned... ...kind of guy, and my favorite meme of 2018 was, uh, Coupon. That meme was perfect. The Coupon meme? I just didn't expect it. It just came out of nowhere, and it was like, why this all of a sudden? So, yeah, I like that one. An alien wants me to shoot some squid. One- I'll figure out how to pr press the right button. Okay. Good. Good! Wow. This is only for rupees, right? There's no other, like, heart piece or item reward. No item here. Okay. Well, that's good because... I used to be good at this. As a kid, I thought this was a, uh, a just a nose. This is like a nose dude. Vinny, do you like eggnog at all? I don't even know if I've ever tried eggnog. Maybe. I don't remember, so it must not have been memorable.
I wonder if there's anywhere that does eggnog all year round. This really kills my vibe. Christmas music. Vibe has been destroyed. Oh, I'm still complaining. Well, shit. I'm gonna fire Brad. Job's gone. Vinny, how's the chair feel now? I- I'm not leaning back. I'm just sitting. Some, um, office chairs have the ability to... So it's- it's for- in that sense, it's- it's fine. It's comfortable, it's cushiony, and nice, but I can't really lean back very easily. Some office chairs have the- you have the ability to squeeze the- <laughs> To, um, some office chairs, you can rotate a thing, and it makes it more, uh, less resistant on your back, so it doesn't push back on you. So, I did that, and it still has a lot of force, that it's, so it's, like, pushing back quite a bit. And I tried everything, I tried both directions, and, uh, you know... Lumbar support? Is that the root of the, the word lumbago? Hmm. I don't often agree with Dutch. But I would kill to be in Tahiti right now, with some mangoes and some nice weather. Also, next Redbox album, Lumbagel, coming soon. It's an entire album about lower back problems, in the style of The Cure, and Depeche Mode, and New Order. And I'm lying, and I know some people would probably love that. Damn it, I want to do this digging game so bad. Any, if in that case, maybe you should come to Brazil. Come to Brazil? I feel like the red rupee is replacing the blue rupee for this stream. Okay, link to the past randomizer people. You may be watching, you might not be, I don't know. But people that developed this, and also made this holiday edition, I want you to know something. You guys are amazing. I love this. This is so fucking cool. You did a great job with it. Please give us the option to turn off the music and go back to Link to the Past music. Please! For next year. Please! 
everyone in chat is a dev of this, and they're all telling me that they will take it into consideration. Or they're saying just straight up no. Look at Stardew Valley. Okay, that's pretty alright, too. I'll take that. Apparently there's a, a vine sauce reference in Stardew Valley, in the uh, multiplayer thing. There's a little hidden vine shroom, and someone found it and sent it to me, but I... I don't uh, have it. I don't know where that came from. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, you want to send me a quick tweet? No, I'm not telling lies. Sweet little lies. I'm telling the truth. I just don't remember. Maybe someone emailed the picture to me? The rupee. Gotta love when a dev reference Vinny, even though he barely gives a damn about their game. I think it's really cool. I actually played like 20, 30 hours of Stardew Valley when it came out to, uh, on the Switch. So I give to them. I streamed it too. Those are baby hours. Well, yeah, I mean, for me, they're baby hours. For most people, they're baby hours, but for me, that's like a day of my life I'll never get back. Has the locked box spawned in the house? Oh, right, yeah. Someone just said, I think it's really cool when Chat Yacht assumes how Vin feels about something. Well, the sad reality of internet and what I do and just even being known on social media is that people are going to make their assumptions about you no matter what. And you're going to be able to do almost fuck all about how they're going to feel about that, regardless of whether or not it's true. I mean, it happens all the time. So much stuff is subjective. It's just a shame it's personalities, too, and, you know, people's thoughts. Um... But, yeah, I mean, it happens a lot, but think about how many times you've listened to a song and assumed that it meant, definitely meant what you thought it meant, like, it was definitely that. Or even, even worse than that, just making an assumption about how someone feels about you. That is something that I have trouble with. Sometimes I, I make, um, I make general assumptions like, Oh, they definitely feel this way because they looked a certain way at me or they said a certain thing. And it's like, you know what? I gave up on that as much as I could because you can never really know. And these things are complex. Assumptions are tough. Easy to make them. A little harder to figure out for sure what people actually feel about you. So... I think there's an Arctic Monkeys album, whatever you say I am, I am that, or something. I hate that I have to carry this thing around. Whatever you say, that's what I'm not. Oh. I'll do the opposite then. I'll do an Arctic Monkeys album of my own, and I'll call it Whatever You Say I Am, I'm Not. Wait, no, that's the- <laughs> that's their actual album! Whatever you say I am, I'm that. But yeah, I mean, uh, I like Stardew Valley is the point. That's what I was- that's what, what I was going for right there. I just wanted to say, I think Stardew Valley is... Top game. Top lad. Um, this is why I'm not a Link to the Past speedrunner. You'll see that I've wasted a lot of time 
by going north, realizing that if I go into a building, I leave the treasure chest behind, and then going back down south. Okay, we're over Lake Winnipeg now. Santa's delivering presents to the lake monsters. Okay, uh, I can do, yeah, Thieves Town. That's not bad. I can do that. Probably gonna go and see if there's anything over here that I can get. I still need Bird. Well, I know for a fact that I need... That I need Bird for some of this stuff. Burb. Oh, whose K. Rule emote is that? That's a, that's a good one. Once I farted in this cave so bad, all the Jazz Hands guys ran away and hid in the sand. Whose Santa Claus emote is that? Desert? Desert, do you have three King K. Rule emotes? You have two. Well, hang on a minute, there's three I'm seeing. Nairo. Nairo? It's Nairo, yeah. Hey, it's me, Nairo! <laughs> I played Mario Tennis with Nairo, and yet I, I'm calling him Nairo. Whose weird worm emote is that? I think that's Vine Sauce, uh, Boel. Okay, so I think I can do all of Thieves Town now, so I may as well. Oh wait, I need the book for this, or? Yeah, I need the fucking book for that. There is one thing that I had in a previous run really early that was very helpful. And that was Bird. I was able to teleport all over the fucking map. Three items near the sanctuary. Santa is by Duck Lake. That's good. It's where he should be. Delivering the presents to all the good duck suit.
cave south of Link's house has a ton of stuff in it. Light or dark world? Because I'm pretty sure I got a cave south of Link's... Well, not too south. The duck world? Okay, well, I forgot how difficult it is to fucking get to where I need to go in the, um, the dark world. There's, there is so, there's so much stuff. That you have to remember about this game if you're going to do it efficiently. What about, um, throwing something at the, um, the, the fucking catfish? I don't think I can do that right now, can I? I can. Alright, let's try it. This is the moment when you realize that Zelda is actually p paced really, really nicely. When you watch someone just go around the overworld for an hour without doing a single dungeon. Over an hour. It sucks. Oh, I don't have the fucking temple in the dark world yet. What cave are we talking about? That one. Boomer okay. I got excited for a second and then I realized that's not going to help. It's fine. 300. 10 arrows. Heart. Heart piece. Boomer lives! God, the Charlie Brown song is so cool. So cool. Kind of makes me want to bust out that champagne. I'm sitting in an awkward pretzel right now so that I can apply enough force to the back of this chair so that like I can I can like push it back. We had a dude that we went to school with, Mike and I, that was, uh, it, he was like an Egon. And, uh, yeah, he sat in a pretzel all the time. And now I'm sitting in a pretzel. Oh, God. Oh, it's piercing my brain. not good. I may be very powerful. I have powerful sword, but my god do I take damage. 
Oh, the big key. Reindeer is, is definitely going to be easy to get. Um, I just can't hear anymore! Anything! Tinnitus, the game. Tinnitus is we're gonna go inside us. volume a little bit more. So what's the newest, like, hottest meme? I, I can't believe this is a topic of discussion, but I need to... I need to know these things. This is part of my research. Lauter. Yeah, I've been seeing that quite a bit. Polar Express, Train Kid, yeah, Chungus, it's a word I've been saying for years, just now everyone's picked up on it. Glad to contribute yet another meme to the meme pool. You know, like the gene pool? Meme pool, that's the new meme from me right now. Okay, you can stop watching now. I'm so sorry. Someone just wrote, Vinny, you're just so epic. <laughs> I'm still seeing the word epic. Was it? What? Hmm. It was a recent discovery of something epic. It's watching something, and like the dude was talking about how how epic it was, and it was like old people TV, and I'm like, oh. All TV is old people TV. Oh, man. I was talking specifically like the Hallmark Channel. It was just on for Christmas. I haven't had cable in years. But it, it's cool because now internet TV is... Like, even worse with its advertisements than the, um... Than the TV box. And now you need seven streaming services just to watch the shows you like. A new age of piracy will begin. This world is filled with outlaws. Nobody does anything that they don't want to do. How about I start a service where you can, um, you can download whatever you want at a nominal fee of, of, like, $3, and that's it. It's just $3. It's like Netflix slash Spotify, and it's not just for movies or music. It's for everything. I'll call it... Blapkins. And for that $3 fee, you never get any advertisements, ever. It's also called, yeah, Mega Upload, that's, there you go. So close, too.
Aren't you supposed to have the blue mail right about now? Or is that later? That's so that's after this dungeon. That's dungeon five. So this is the appropriate level of damage and getting fucking destroyed for this time in the game. Yeah, Radden. <laughs> we need to get each other Christmas presents, Stampy. I already got you one, Radden. Why, why did you get me a Christmas present, Stampy? Stampy. Because you're my friend, Radden. <laughs> There's no skit here. I got nothing. I mean, after a while, Ren and Stimpy ran out of anything that wasn't, like, subtle gay jokes about Ren and Stimpy, you know. That's what it really would have turned into later on, when, uh, when they brought it back. And my Stimpy voice is just riding. Yeah, I say subtle, but there was an episode where, I believe, Ren attached a saw to his pelvis and thrust it into Stimpy. Repeatedly. Uh, oh no, he was sawing wood. Over his ass. Yes, it was wood that was attached to Stimpy's ass. Merry Christmas. Read the hint. Not too late now. Just can't believe how much damage these little fuckers do. They seem so innocuous. Ignoguous. Someone just said good night, Vinny. Good night, chat friend. They only said goodnight because they're leaving because I said ig in egg nocuous. It's not that they're actually going to bed. I almost never use these fucking medallions for their potentially intended purpose. So good. No more complaints.
Is there any holiday music you enjoy, Vin? Um, I played the Weird Al song the other day. Yesterday. And I, I like the Kinks. Father Christmas, that's a good one. And I like simply having a wonderful Christmas time. I actually don't. I think it's the, um, the Melon said that that was the worst Christmas song. He hates it. I mean, I don't, I don't mind it. It's not the worst fucking Christmas song that's out there. It's just... It's repetitive. And it's kind of a little, little earwormy and annoying. That was, you know... I think around that time was the time McCartney wrote Temporary Secretary. So, I think he was toying with psychological warfare at that time in his career. Every time I play Randomizer, I fucking do this. Props to Nintendo... ...for having an earthquake not affect flying enemies. And goodbye, fairy. They were both on McCartney 2. McCartney 2? That album... I don't know what Paul was trying to do at that time. But... I don't get a good vibe from it. Wasn't, um, coming up on that album too? That's another really catchy song. Needlessly... Horrendously catchy. It's a good song, actually. I really like that one. So, McCartney 1 came out like 1970, or was it 69? Something like that. And McCartney 2 came out like 1981. In between McCartney 1 and 2, he released... He was in a band called, um... Wings. And he also had another album on his own name called Ram. So that's why there was such a, a big gap between the, the one and two. I'm just a rebel without a clause. <laughs> I didn't know there were custom bosses. be able to melt you like butter with the butter sword. There we go. <laughs> oh! Get the map. Defeat the boss. Get the map. I'm going to the old blip. Blip. Get the blip. Update your tracker, dude. I'll leave it a question mark, because I'm just getting reindeer, so... Wait, you meant the Santa Tracker? There you go. Hey, 
It looks like I will not have to eat a bean, because Santa up and decided that New York was all naughty this year and just gave us nothing. Alright, let me go into the Goatsy house real quick and see if there's anything of, of note in here. Probably not. No. Just one of the uh, cultists from Earthbound. Um, let's see, I'll probably play this for another 15 minutes, but I want to, before I do any more dungeons, tomorrow I'll be streaming more of this, and I'll, I'll probably go for a little longer, maybe start a little earlier too. Um, see if I can finish it tomorrow, because that would be appropriate, finishing a christmas theme thing on Christmas. But, I mean, we cleaned out most of the overworld, and it's just a matter of doing the dungeons, there's some progression stuff I still need to get. Vinny, will you be streaming the Killing Floor 2 update? I didn't even know there was one. Killing Floor 2 is nice to revisit every now and then, but I don't like to go through every update. This game added an extra step, or, well, it just had an extra step that was later simplified in Ocarina. Which was, you needed a bug net to catch the fairies. In Ocarina, you could just swipe at them with your bottle. And, uh... That did the trick. FUCK NOT THE BEES! What was the, the- there's a one I have to run into, is that here? I think that's the light world. Also, what appears to be snowy is just monochrome. I think next year's holiday edition could be a little bit refined. This is where the cape usually is. And what will we get from this lone treasure? It's bombs. Man, the high of getting all those great items so early on. That was so much fun. But much like a real drug, you have to do more of it. Continue experiencing... Oh, fuck, Danny. Oh, wrong, wrong! Chad, have you heard the tale of Butane Boy? It's a sad tale. Not a tale the Jedi would teach you. Have you heard of the High Elves? Ouch! So I could go up the mountain. 
Isn't there a really good mountain treasure chest area? I have to, uh, wait for them to stop sawing that. That's them. Those are the high elves right there. Look at their eyes. Oh, I can't do this. What if the old man has the lamp? You know, stranger things have happened. Logically impossible. Oh. Okay, never mind. They they have made that not a thing. Vinny, what do you think about January as a month? Well, I guess we kind of talked about everything else on stream, so I can start ranking months if you want. Uh, I think... Probably like a 2 out of 10 month, to be honest. Endless trash. Maybe 3 out of 10 at best. It's cold. There's no good holidays, if any. I don't even know what they are. You know, there's bad movies. Usually, like, just shitty game releases. It's like post-seasonal depression. But at least the holidays are over. Best month for me is probably June, because that's when too many games is, and it's like right in the middle of summer, but it's not too hot yet. I mean, it's it's hot, but it's not too bad. I like June. New York, June is good. Oh, this dude's not gonna give me anything free unless I do the, the palace, right? Hopefully he's only got 10 rupees. Yeah, we're run- <laughs> The item pool is getting awfully thin. I mean, May is a good month because my birthday is in May, and it's the beginning of, like, summer. So April is, you know, the weather starts to get nice in April, but May is where it starts to get really nice, and I can start going outside and doing stuff. And, um... Yeah, it's just cool. December is a pretty good month because of the holiday stuff, but at the same time... You know, it's just, again, it's cold, and... Kind of dreary. A little scummy. Okay, so we know there's coal in there. I don't have the book, so I can't go to the palace in the, on the, uh, the west yacht. The pile of rocks with a chest is directly left of the sanctuary on a cliff. Vinny, are you going to stream Resident Evil 2 Remake? Yes. There might be an item you need at Eastern. That's true. I'm going to hold off on that for as long as I can. So directly east of the Sanctuary. Oh, that one. Right, okay. Okay, so I can't get to the mountain yet. Not easily, at least. And there's a lot of good treasure chests up there. Um... I think the best thing... ...would be to just go for more dungeons.
Catfish is another... Okay, well... I'm not gonna do catfish just yet, but I will do... Um... What would be a good dungeon for me to do right now? Let's see. Something quick. None of these dungeons are really that quick, but... Forest, perhaps? You can do Skull Woods. Let's do Skull Woods, and then I'll save and smash. If you know anything about me, you know I hate Skull Woods. Last randomizer stream of Skull Woods was also quite a nightmare. Good. all a dead end. Someone just said, you're a blockhead, Vinny, and then they posted a little kappa. Just remember, chat, you can get away with saying almost anything in a Twitch chat room, as long as you add a kappa to it. Like, hey, you're a jerk-ass chat member who said that. You're a real jerk face. Fucker. Kappa. Well, time to lower the music again. Blockhead is a Charlie Brown reference, you fucker. Kappa. Alright. Bitch. Kappa. Merry Christmas. Kappa! Shit's going down. Someone said, Merry Christmas, good person. Kappa. And not a single Christmas merriment was had. On that day... Anno Domini, Year of Our Lord, 2018. Get out of here, hand. Halloween has way better games.
Hmm, pst. Ah! Bep. I accidentally said whomst at the dinner table. There was a heated political discussion, and I said whomst. Okay, it wasn't that heated. In fact, it was barely political. But I ended up saying whomst to, like, family members and older people that had no idea why I said that, and I realized something. I need to be a little bit more aware of some of the stuff I say. Yeah, I can get away with whomst on stream. But boy howdy, is it- <laughs> does it- does it drop like a sack of fucking potatoes when you- when you say it at a Halloween- uh, sorry, <laughs> at a holiday party. No, it's good though. It keeps me on my, it keeps me on my toes because honestly I shouldn't be getting laughs for saying the word humst in real life or in any life. It's really not funny. <laughs> it's it's not something I have to work for laughs if I'm going to make people laugh. Chat's made it a little too easy. Have you said zip zoom or pingors in public yet? No, the worst I've ever done otherwise was sneeze a bit like a duck. Otherwise, it's pretty much just, you know, me speaking like a human being. Uh, but I know I can yow on stream. And that's pretty alright. People seem to like that. I know when not to yowl. We're gonna fight Mothra early. I can't wait to find out what shitty Christmas song Ganon is gonna have. Do I ever have to fight Aghanim? Well, there's probably some items in there. I might have to. Come on. Come on, get fucking melted. There you go, that's a proper melting. Ten arrows. Fuck you! Well, we're not done yet. We- a couple other quick things need to be done. There's still a couple treasure chests. I don't think I mentioned that I had, uh... Okay, so... I went to a Christmas party at my friend's house, and there was a lot of people. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of bros. 
A lot of bros. I don't really get down with the bros, but I- they were nice bros. They weren't, like, shitty bros. I can get along with pretty much anyone. I have interests that span a number of different things, so I could- you know, it's not like I can't get along with people. But, you know, I like being able to talk about stuff that I like more. So, anyway, fair enough. Bros, it was cool. I was, was hanging with them. <laughs> And, uh, you know what I mean? Like, Staten Island bros. Like, yo, what the fuck? That kind of shit. So, but, there was no bullshit, and that was good. And there were a lot of my friends there. So, after some time, I said to my friend, I said, Hey, Jackie, can I set up Smash? Because Jackie played Smash for a while. And I was like, you know, you know, listen. No one has to play Smash. If they don't want to, but no one's watching TV. And I brought it, and I know my friend Tyler wanted to play some Smash. I know my friend Pussy wanted to play some Smash, and I know a couple other people would have been down. And, uh, so... You know, given a little bit of time, the night begins to dwindle down. Smash. That's his nickname. He wants to be called Pussy on the internet. I don't know. Uh, again, it's a Sopranos thing. Big Pussy. Whatever. So... <laughs> so, we smashed that p Anyway, so, uh, we're playing, and it's going really great, and we're having fun, and, uh, some people are watching, some people are- are getting in, and there's a lot of down Bs with Kirby. Oh, I know how to play Smash. I know how to play Smash. I use Kirby. And then, my other friend was like, oh, I use Pikachu. And of course, Pikachu is just... down B. Down B. Down B. So, that was fun. Alright, so that all happens. And, uh... Then this dude, who I've seen at the parties a couple times, but I never really got to know him. He wants in. I believe his name is Skippy. Or it might be a nickname. I don't know! I thought that the name Skippy was, was like a myth. I didn't know anyone actually called themselves Skippy. But, nice enough guy. Um, didn't seem too drunk. Because some people were playing, like, blasted. That wasn't helping. And, uh, Skippy joins in. Dude's a beast. We kind of were evenly matched most of the night. But, generally speaking, Skippy was a little bit better than me because I stopped caring. I got my ass handed to me in a couple matches. I dealt some damage, though. I had a fearsome pit that night. And I had a fearsome villager as well. But... I will say this. It's interesting... to know how many people... I swear to God, you don't have to believe me. But, you know, God knows. <laughs> God knows all, chat. Have you heard the good news, by the way? Um... So yeah, Skippy was fucking awesome. It's just fun to go out, play some Smash Brothers, and then find out who at this random party was like a monster at Smash Brothers. And it brought a lot of people together that would have not otherwise spoke. And that was cool too. There was like a communal aspect to it that I enjoyed. So even though... Even though... I decided to bust out video games at a Christmas party. It wasn't just an anti-social thing. Like, I socialized, fun, great, and then the real shit went down. I sound like such a loser saying it like this, but, <laughs> but it's true, and it was fun. And then Karen showed up at the roof party, and was like, Hey, do you want to play my new Nintendo Switch TM? And everyone clapped. Her name? Albert. It was good. It was a really fun night. Boo. Boo. Alberta Einstein, exa exactly. Santa's taking his time over Acapulco.
A lot of good kids in Acapulco. You know, there's a strain of weed called Acapulco Gold. And that was like, uh, that was really big in the 70s. So much so that famous band Greta Van Zeppelin sang about it. Vine, did you just ignore that chest? Did I vine blind a chest? I suppose I did. The bottle. Um, was that it then? That might have been, was that the last chest? There's still a door. This place is cleaned out. The last key only goes to a useless room. Okay. Well, I think that's gonna be it for the randomizer for tonight. But tomorrow, we will resume. And, um, you know. Okay, so two reindeer. Out of eight. A lot of progression items. A lot of power items. Um... We really need the silver arrows. That's going to be really important. We're going to need the lantern, maybe, and the flute. That's going to be extremely helpful. Yeah, there's a couple things that I don't need. Like, the bug net is kind of superfluous at this point. It'll help. Um, obviously, you need the hook shot. Silver arrows and hookshot are very important. Yeah, I agree. And also... The canes? Well, I don't really... One cane, yes. The red one. But it's an, it's really possible for me to be able to finish this... ...tomorrow in one more stream. If I give it, like, a good three-hour stream, it's possible. Oh boy! Oh boy, this chair. Oh, it's leaving some good dents in my back. Good. Alright, hey, we're gonna take a quick break. Chorley! Uh, we're gonna take a quick break, and I will be back. Part two of this tomorrow, Santa is chugging along really hard. Needs a driver update. And, um, yeah, so st stop by tomorrow if you want to see the, uh, the, the conclusion, hopefully the conclusion of, of Link to the Past randomized. Up next is Smash Brothers, and, uh, if Santa did not visit your region, don't worry. Everything will be fine. Eventually. Unless you're a fuck-up, in which case you get some coal. But hey, coal could be useful, too. You know, if you press coal together high enough, um, you know, uh, amount of, of physical energy and force, you can get a diamond. That's not true at all. That's not true. I lied. Quick break. <laughs> that was Mr. Scientist Vinny saying all the wrong things. Now you're going to have a break, and you're going to listen to some music, and you're going to like it, goddammit. And I will be right back. <laughs> 